Welcome back for part two about our discussion about food waste and organics. In part one, Savannah talked to us about how organic waste is a rising global issue, specifically about the environmental impacts it has and how it can affect businesses' bottom lines. If you missed part one, you can check it out in the description of our video. Today, we're going to look at a couple options for how you can start managing organic waste inside of your building and look at a couple tips and tricks for engaging your staff. A great place to start is to get dirty and dive right in. Not literally, with a waste audit. You know, where you determine the other types of materials that are being thrown out and where they're coming from. Don't you watch any of our other videos? Now I know not everywhere has an option for municipal organic collection or even a third party option. But just because you don't have those available to you doesn't mean that you're out of luck. Consider getting a composter for your office. Composters are cheap and easy to use systems that use beneficial microbes to break down organic waste into fresh organic fertilizer. Businesses can actually save money by using their own free organic fertilizer to tend to their grounds. If you notice that your coworkers are continually wasting food, first of all, tell them to cut it out. And secondly, give them help as to what kind of tips and tricks they can use to help reduce food waste at the office. To implement an organics program at your work, you're going to need the commitment from your coworkers. If your coworkers aren't interested or don't have the buy-in that you need from them, your initiatives and strategies are just never going to take off. Don't worry, we're not talking about wedding vow or legal document level of commitment. We're just talking about organic bins here. Consider promoting the need of an organic collection program to your coworkers using posters, pamphlets, and emails. This lets them know that landfilling organic waste is extremely irresponsible. Let them know how easy it is, and that with frequent servicing, odors associated with organic collection is just a myth. You know what? Forget about Shark Week. Waste Reduction Week is where it's at. Having a Food Waste Reduction Week is a fantastic way to raise awareness of the office and to highlight some of the initiatives you are using to combat the problem. Engage your staff by holding competitions at the office, showing educational videos, or maybe having a guest speaker to come in and talk about the topic. So don't waste any more time. Take this ripe opportunity to talk to your coworkers and colleagues about organic waste. This concludes our video blog series on organic collection at the office. If you'd like to learn more information, join us on June 1st at 11 o'clock Eastern Time. The registration link and the option to view the pre-recorded webinar are in the description of this video. 